हेलो एवरीवन आज का हमारा टॉपिक है रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टीसी टीवीसी एंड टीएफसी फर्स्ट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द शेड्यूल देन विल फॉलो अकॉर्डिंगली द फर्स्ट कॉलम हेयर इज आउटपुट The second one is TFC, then TVC and TC. TFC here means total fixed cost, TVC means total variable cost, and TC is total cost. Now the first one is TFC, total fixed cost. Total fixed cost is that cost which do not change with the change in the level of output. Exa uh, as you can see in the schedule, as the output is increasing, suppose first unit is there, when first uh, producer producing the first unit of output, TFC is ten. When he is producing third unit, then again the TFC is same. Four unit, five unit, six unit. So whatever, whenever, whatever amount, uh, whatever output he is producing, the total fixed cost remains the same. Either uh, even you can see when the output is zero, total fixed cost is still there. It is ten. Why? The reason we can take the example. Suppose we are hiring a building for the production, and before starting the production, we already incurred the expenses. That that is why at zero level of output, TFC is ten. and that is and this is also one of the reason the tfc curve will not start from the point of origin or it will start from here because before starting the production producer already incurred the expense got it now the next one is tvc that is total variable cost total variable cost is that cost which changes with the change in the level of output for example you as you can see when output is zero variable cost is zero when he start when uh, producer is producing first unit of output TVC is ten. Since second, eighteen. When he is producing third unit, twenty-four. As the um, number of output is uh, number of units of output is increasing, or changes, total variable cost always is also changes. So we can say that that variable cost always change with the change in the level of output. Now the curve of the TVC. TVC curve is inverse S shaped. Why it is inverse S shaped? Because of the law of variable proportions. Got it because law variable proportions is that production first increases at an increasing rate than at diminishing rate. So when the production is increasing at an increasing rate, naturally the cost is less. That is why it is here decreasing cost. And when it uh, production is increasing at diminishing rate, then in that case, a uh, cost is more. So that is why it is here increasing rate. So cost is increasing at increasing. Now the next one is total cost. Total cost is. the sum of total fixed cost and total variable cost so our first point comes under the relationship between is total cost equals to tfc plus tvc right the second point for uh, under the relationship is the tc always tvc total variable cost always starts from the point of origin z zero why because when we are produce, started producing first unit of our output variable cost is Uh, uh, starts from there. When output is zero, as you can see in the schedule, when output is zero, total variable cost is also zero. That is why it starts from here. Next is TFC. TFC always remains constant and parallel to x-axis. X-axis. Why it is remains uh, constant and parallel to x-axis? Because it will not change with the change in the level of output, as you can see in the schedule. Now, next point is TVC is inversely S-shaped. Why? Because of the law of variable proportions, I told you. Now the next point is fifth point: the TC and TVC is always parallel. As you can see in the diagram, both are parallel to each other and they never meet at any point. Why? Because of the fixed cost. Because and the first first point I told you that total cost includes TFC plus TVC. This is that is why both are parallel to each other and they will never meet or intersect at any point. Got it? Next point is the difference between TC and TVC. T the difference between this TC and TVC is fixed cost. But next point is that TC curve will always start from the point of TFC curve because TC includes TFC and TVC, and when output is zero, still some cost is there. That is why total cost always starts from there. Not from the point of origin. TVC will start from this point. Not TC. TC is always start from there. As you can see in the schedule also, I told you that TC equals to TFC plus TVC. So when if we follow the schedule, when output is zero, TFC is there. As I told you, because before starting the production, producer needs to start needs land 
or building to start a production that is why some for, uh, fixed cost he has incurred for that per, uh, for that purpose that is why some fixed cost is there and tvc tvc is zero why because he does he has not started production yet that is why so total cost here at the level of zero output is 10 got it so some fixed cost that is why total cost starts from this point not from this point 